Belladonna Residences Gate. Corsac and Fennec Albion has arrived. The door opened to reveal Callie. Corsac, greetings Madame Belladonna. Is your husband at home? Callie, yes he is what business do you have with him? Corsac, we wish to speak to him about the current actions of the White Fawn. A voice suddenly interjects. Blake, like the White Fawn attack on Vale? The Albion brothers look to see Blake behind Callie. Fennec, a uh, Miss Blake we didn't know you have returned. Corsac, as unfortunate as it is the Vale branch of the White Fawn has taken its own path. Gyra walked out of the house. Gyra, and what path is that? The brothers were cut off by another voice. A oath filled with bloodshed and murder. The two brothers look at a young man in white armor. Corsac, you have no place to talk human, you are in menagerie now. John, I have half a right to talk since I'm part Faunus and your followers are responsible for thousands of deaths. The brothers were taken aback, the boy is part Faunus? Callie, what the boy say is true he is part Faunus, so show him some modicum of respect. The brothers grumbled. Fennec, the boy is from Atlas, look at his uniform. John, I'm not part of Atlas, I'm the representative of the Republic on Remnant. The brothers are confused at the introduction of a new form of government in Remnant. Fennec, our apologies, we would like to invite Mr. Belladonna to a meeting with Sienna Khan. Gyra, you do know I don't hold any power in the Fong anymore, and I'm too busy coordinating with the Republic to aid Menagerie's development. The two brothers are shocked at the sudden news, and irritated at the foiling of their plans. Corsac, will you be available on another date? Gyra looked to John and he nodded. Gyra, why yes I'll make an appointment and inform you both. The two brothers bowed then left. Blake, I don't feel good about those two. Gyra, you're not the only one, honey. John, those two are planning to kill you. The family looked at him in horror. John, I worked numerous times for the Senate and I've met a lot of powerful politicians who can lie and backstab easily. Those two carry themselves in the same manner. I will appoint a Belit squad for your protection, sir, and I'll request an audience with Khan. Blake, why do that, John? John, I always pursue all forms of solving conflict before resorting to violence. Until I exhausted all other options will I ever resort to it. Blake nods and looked to her dad. Blake, Dad listen to John and be safe he's experienced in these situations. Gyra, I understand Kitten I'll be careful. Blake, you too mom. Callie, hugs her daughter. John speaks into his calm link. John, Bad Batch do you hear me? Hunter, we got you brother. John, I need you at Menagerie, the sooner the better. Hunter, understood will there shortly. Meanwhile, in a safe house. The Albion brothers are conspiring with Adam Taurus. Adam, that man is here. Good. I get to finally kill him. Make preparations for the coup. Meanwhile, at Oshpin's office. Oshpin, 
Bring in Miss Branwen. Raven entered the room. Raven, what is it Oshpin? Oshpin, I received word that the teams are at Haven. I need you and Summer to meet with Crow there and prepare to retrieve the relic. Do this and I'll remove all the sentences you have. Raven, and what makes you so sure that I can be trusted? Oshpin, if you do betray us I'll just send Mr. Fett and his wolves to hunt you down. You do remember what happened last time. Raven shuddered. Raven, alright Oshpin I'll rejoin my old team, since we have a chance now. Haven. Wolf, is that him? Ruby, yes that's Headmaster Lionheart. 